Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to sort of flip the script. I want to talk about the reasons why you should update to iOS 17.5. Now, obviously, I've already talked about the reasons why you shouldn't update. There's still some users experiencing poor battery life. There's also poor performance for some users. And most importantly, there's also a lot of Wi-Fi issues that I've also expressed and shared with you guys in my videos. Now, there's also, as I mentioned, the other side of the story, which is what I want to talk about today. The reasons why you should consider updating to iOS 17.5. Although I believe everyone can still wait a couple of days. Apple may even release 17.5.1 to address a few concerns. But as of right now, 17.5 does provide a few important under-the-hood security patches that I wanted to make you guys aware of. As I mentioned, I like to talk about some of the bugs and issues to give you guys a quick heads up of some of the issues currently happening with the latest software. But I also want to educate you guys and let you guys know in regards to the latest security improvements. Now, obviously, Apple released 17.5 iPad OS 17.5, Mac OS 14.5, TV OS 17.5, and Watch OS 10.5. Now, for those that do not run iOS 17, those running iOS 16 or not capable of running iOS 17, for example, an iPhone 10 here, for example, Apple also released a new update alongside 17.5, which is 16.7.8 for the iPhones and iPad OS 16.7.8. So these software updates were also provided for older iPhones, and there's a reason why. And this is the reason why I believe you should consider updating to iOS 17.5. So here it is about security content of iOS 17.5 and iPadOS 17.5. So let's take a look here. We see right there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen security patches being put in place with iOS 17.5. One of the most important ones right here it is the kernel update right there, the kernel patch. As you can see right there, an attacker may be able to cause unexpected app terminal and arbitrary code execution. This is quite important, and I think everyone should be aware of this. Of course, you don't want to fall victim of any security flaw within the operating system. And again, all these patches are provided to the iPhone and the iPads, the Mac, and of course, the Apple Watch as well. So just keep in mind that iOS 17.5, although there's still a few issues with the software, at least for some users, battery life isn't the best, Wi-Fi issues, which I've experienced myself, and other minor hiccups in software issues keep in mind that security patches are being put in place here as well so you may want to consider updating to the latest 17.5 as i mentioned apple could release 17.5.1 in the near future to address a few issues as well some issues that are causing third-party app store marketplaces within the eu to crash and have issues and also there's additional issues with wi-fi and battery that apple may address soon but if you want the latest security patches right now 17.5 of course will provide that and iOS 16.7.8 will make that also available for you on older devices. And just a quick update, guys, just to make you guys aware, again, there is a few issues with battery performance and Wi-Fi issues on 17.5, but these are going to be more important than any of those issues right now in terms of security. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this information helpful, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.